Good afternoon. I'm Edward Ellis. I'm the chairman of oral and maxillofacial surgery at the University of Texas Health Science Center in San Antonio. I'd like to talk to you a little bit about our training program. Our mission is to train competent, honest surgeons for the clinical practice of oral and maxillofacial surgery. As a group of faculty here, we have not decided that we are looking only for a certain type of applicant. For instance, we're not trying to educate the next generation of teachers or the next generation of private practitioners or the next generation of researchers. We want individuals in our training program irrespective of what they might want to do in their future. This program began in 1967 downtown at the Bear County Hospital. Uh, at the time it was three years in duration and they only took one resident per year. In 1971 it was expanded to two residents per year and in 1973 the program was moved out here onto the campus where it's now at which is on the north uh, west side of San Antonio about 13 miles from the downtown area. This is where the um, new medical campus and dental school was being built. In 1986 um, this program was converted to an integrated MD oral surgery program. It was the fourth in the country to do so. The program directors over the time um, are quite notable. Dr. Hugh Tilson started the program. Gene Manus was the next program director. Frank Dolwick, Gil Triplett, Joe Van Sickles, B.D. Tyner, Mike Startzel, myself for, the, for about eight years. And then in 2018, Dr. Daniel Perez uh, was made program director and he of course is still the program director with us. The oral surgery training program here is uh, um, uh, based at the dental school, um, but in addition to the dental school, we have other training facilities. We use the University Hospital, which is right here on our campus. That's a level one training hospital, um, and uh, it gets a lot of the trauma in the city. The other trauma hospital in the city uh, is the uh, military hospital on the other side of town. Um, we also have uh, the VA Medical Center, which is located on our campus that our re residents will rotate to. And a year ago, we began a rotation to a private practice in El Paso, Texas, where they um, get experience in some aspects of the, the specialty that we don't provide for them here, such as oncology and microvascular reconstruction. We have 11 uh, oral and maxillary surgery uh, faculty uh, um, that are dedicated to surgery. We have one prosthodontist, and we have two full-time PhD researchers in our department. We have a very modern and new clinic. In 2015, our, our, new, our new clinic was built. Uh, I think it's probably the nicest one you will see. Um, and it uh, um, has 10 consult rooms where you will see new patients and follow-ups, as well as six surgical operatories uh, that are lushly uh, um, outfitted uh, and equipped. Um, and then we have one large operating room um, that is as nice as any operating room in any hospital I've ever been. Additionally, we have an overnight recovery room to use uh, for some of our overnight patients. And we have a nice uh, x-ray facility that includes not only a pan ceph machine, but also um, a, a cone beam CT machine. Our training program is six years in duration. Uh, in, our eligibility uh, requirements are that you have to be a U.S. citizen or a permanent alien to, to apply um, and we uh, want you to have graduated from a United States or Canadian dental school. Now the way our program works is that in year one, um, as soon as you start the program, you're in a combination of the first and second years of medical school. We have some of the courses from the first year of the medical school, some from the second year, but in that first year of our training program, you will basically get through the first two years of medical school. The second year of our training program is basically the third year of medical school where you do your clerkships. You rotate on to pediatrics and surgery and all the other uh, uh, specialties. Now the, the, the third year of our medical, uh, excuse me, of our training program is the fourth year of medical school. But fortunately, you know, we only have you do two months in medical school. The other 10 months of that year, you're on our service, on the clinical oral and maxillofacial surgery service. 
Now, in the year four of our training program, you will end up doing six months of anesthesia and six months of general surgery. And then the last two years of our training programs, year five and six, are all oral surgery. So in total, you will get 35 months of oral and maxillofacial surgery uh, on the clinical uh, service, um, whereas the requirements are only 30 months. Now our medical school is um, a very good medical school, uh, but fortunately it's not that expensive. The tuition's around $18,000 a year, and you will have to pay that for three years. We will usually pay that tuition for you, or we actually pay you uh, approximately that amount um, so that you can pay your tuition with that. Now the way we work our service is that we have two resident teams in general. Uh, one of those teams has a sixth year uh, resident, a fifth year resident, maybe a third and a couple of uh, other residents. That will be in the hospital doing major surgery most of the week. Whereas the second team will be in the clinic doing clinic work most of that week. And then the next week it flip flops. So they go back and forth every other week. Uh, they're either in the hospital uh, doing surgeries or they're in the clinic doing surgeries. Um, there's, uh, we have about four and a half dedicated OR block time at our university hospital. So we do a lot of uh, surgery over there. Uh, we have, a, in addition, we have a very robust academic schedule. Um, for instance, on Monday mornings at 6.30, we have an M&M conference um, where we uh, talk about all of the patients that came in over the weekend. We talk about all the patients that were operated on the previous week, and we plan our next week. Um, on Tuesdays at 5 o'clock p.m., we have a seminar, and twice a month it's, uh, we meet with the orthodontists uh, uh, to talk about orthodontic uh, surgical cases. Uh, one of those Tuesdays will be a lecture by one of the faculty. Uh, the other time uh, will be cases that we will treatment plan. Also on uh, Tuesdays at 5 o'clock, uh, we have journal club once a month. And we have uh, anesthesia uh, seminar once a month. Four or five times a year, we also meet with the military oral and maxillofacial surgery training programs that are here in the city. Um, and um, one of them hosts us and, we, and provides us with a program to show the kind of things that they're doing. So that's very uh, enriching for our residents as well. On Thursdays at 5 o'clock, we also have uh, um, a seminar, and it's uh, once a month oral pathology, where we have an oral pathologist come over and uh, talk to us. Uh, we'll have the residents uh, do mini presentations, and then we'll, um, the other uh, Thursdays we do uh, lectures from the faculty. Uh, in addition, um, there are other uh, uh, didactic things that occur throughout the year. Um, there's an orbital anatomy and trauma course that occurs over here at the Military Medical Center that our fifth year residents attend. It's a one week long course in August of every year. All of our residents will attend an AO maxillofacial course sometime during their training. Uh, we send all of our residents uh, once to the Marks pathology course and we sent all of our residents once to an oral and maxillofacial surgery review course, uh, which is usually a one-week uh, duration course at one of the, uh, the uh, places in the country that has those. You will also get ACLS training and you will be certified in ATLS um, uh, in, in our training program. Once a year we do mock oral boards with our residents, which helps them uh, uh, in the future when they take their oral boards uh, for the American board. Um, we encourage research to be done by our residents, but we do not mandate it. Um, uh, we try to reward people who do research by sending them uh, to uh, a meeting to present their research results. Um, and so um, this is something where if a resident's interested, they'll talk with a the faculty, get a, a project going, and, and pursue it. Um, you will get an enormous amount of clinical experience at this training program. Uh, we do a lot of orthognathic surgery, a lot of TMJ surgery, a lot of dental implant surgery and bone graft reconstruction for implants. Uh, we certainly get our share of trauma um, and uh, we're a very well-rounded program. We do not do major oncologic surgery um, or microvascular reconstruction, which is one of the reasons we have started that rotation in El Paso because you will get that experience there. Um, so the advantages, I think, of our training program is that 
well, there are several. Number one, we get you in-state medical school tuition. Even if you come from out of state, you will always get in-state medical school tuition, so it's not so expensive. San Antonio is also a very inexpensive city to live. Rents in apartments are low. You can buy homes here for a lot less than you can in most major cities. We pay our residents almost every year. Now, it may not be full payment the years you're in medical school, um, but we try to give you enough money to at least offset the cost of medical school tuition. We have some of the most modern facilities you will ever find. Our university hospital is pretty much brand new. Our clinic is only a few years old, and it's uh, lushly equipped. We have really a good uh, experience with most clinical aspects of our specialty. Uh, we, get our, we have our own operating room here in our clinic uh, that we can use for elective cases uh, or cases that are uninsured, such as cosmetic, uh, bone grafts for implants, etc. Um, you will get abundant hands-on experience here. We, uh, you're just not going to uh, help the faculty do the surgery. You will actually be involved in almost all the surgery. We have a diverse faculty with uh, individual interests uh, and, and, uh, and uh, training uh, in, from different locations. Um, so that's very, uh, very helpful for your education. And we have a rich heritage and well-known uh, alumni of our training program. So I would like, you, like to uh, thank you for considering our training program. I think it's a very good program, uh, one of the best in the country, and uh, we are excited that you uh, might uh, be joining us sometime soon. Thank you.